impossible to accept somebody to come to a team February in the year with a signed contract, Vito, mm -hmm. myself. And I think if Prost come back in a sportive way, maybe win another championship, he should be sportive. The way he's doing, he's behaving like a coward. It's no secret that I've been trying very hard to, to get some, some deal with Williams. Um, the situation is very complex. It is it's not nice, it's not clear either. The only thing I asked on the contract, I said, I don't want to be a teammate with Elton. Uh, it has to be clear. I wanted to be a world champion. I did not want to lose the opportunity. Contractual issues have become of secondary importance. And uh, I'm quite optimistic that as the year unfolds, you will see some very interesting tactics and strategies employed to hopefully win the World Championship. The biggest difficulty is really with the new engine, radically different than, than the Honda V12, Ford V8. It's another factor that makes life more difficult to evaluate things. When you go into this sort of uh, electronic war, um, you can find yourself completely stuck. The electronics do a given, a given situation, and no matter who you put in the car, the electronics will do the work and not the driver. And on top of that, uh, with those electronic devices, some of them level out the drivers. He's behaving like a coward.
and Prost is on pole position by eight hundredths of a second. He's done a 1.15.696. As we watch then for Alan Prost back on pole, what can Ed and Senna do? Can he respond? Away they go, Senna's got a superb start, Schumacher comes up, Beeman Hill is into third position as they go into the first left corner, and Senna's done it, Ayrton Senna spun ahead. Senna makes a full advantage of uh, having Cross behind Schumacher Senna, and Cross beats the new ground. Well, uh, this is uh, a quite incredible start because now Michael Schumacher in the Benetton, which was not going nearly as well as the Ford-powered McLarens during the practice session, and Senna leads Schumacher at the end of the first lap by 1.7 seconds with Alain Prosper more injured. Now, there's the leader, and you can see how close Michael Schumacher is to him. Michael Schumacher, who won a Grand Prix in his first full season last year when he won the Belgian Grand Prix in Spa. Now, is the gap coming down? The gap is coming down because Schumacher is close. And uh, Frost getting right onto Schumacher's tail, but Schumacher's got the inside line. And Prost is through, Prost has made it, and that was Renault Parr that did that for Alain Prost. He, was, uh, he came very cleanly out of the hairpin, but uh, he just powered his way past. Now Senna will have seen that in his mirrors, and uh, he, I'm sure, will be aware that Prost has outdragged Schumacher, and of course Schumacher has the best, the best Ford engine with the air valves. The uh, official works engine, and the McLaren's only have a customer engine, which is uh, reputed to be some 30 horsepower down. And uh, that uh, will worry Senna. He will not want Frost right on his tail through the hairpin. So, what Senna now, when they're together, will be trying to put a bit of space between himself and the Williams every time they reach the last corner. And Frost is really pressing. Actually, to be Fabrizio Barbaccia, who is, yes, it is Fabrizio Barbaccia, who is out of the race, incident. And Prost having another go. Prost is alongside Senna. Nose in front. And Prost is through. So, Alain Prost takes the lead in the South African Grand Prix. Now, let's see what speed he's got to get away. I anticipate this race will speed up quite a bit now. And we'll see how much more speed Senna can find. Well, just as a datum point, the lap speeds were around 122.2 before, and now Schumacher goes through. Frost, uh, if Frost is going for Tars, Williams could beat that and get Frost out ahead of Senna. And Martin Brundle is missing. Ricardo Patrese has gone through sixth position now. This is it. This is what could change the course of the race if the Williams team make a mess of Alain Prost's pit stop. It's happened in the past. You remember Nigel Mansell had all sorts of problems. Wheels came off. But it's happened with him with Ferrari too. That, that's a bit slow. That's 10.6 seconds now. Is Alain Prost going to exit the pit lane before Ayrton Senna and Schumacher arrive? Yes. Yes. Goodness to him and just lose one more lap, but that certainly hands the place to Gogo Leto. Ayrton Senna crossing the line probably slower than he's ever crossed it before, but he should worry because in the process he finishes in second place.
Kurt Williams represented by their new team manager, Ian Harrison. Minister Ross Meyer, Minister of Constitutional Development, presents the trophy to the second place driver, Ayer Montana. just fantastic it's uh, look maybe easy from outside but uh, you know it was a difficult race uh, I did a bad start and uh, I had to overtake uh, Schumacher and Ayrton was not so easy for sure my car was, was better then at the end was the rain was coming and uh, I was just trying to keep a lot of gap between Ayrton and myself a good run on the early laps everything was functioning, functioning okay but suddenly I had a a problem, an electronic problem, I don't know what it is. Uh, and the car just stopped working completely. And instead of building up a gap at that stage that I was doing over Schumacher, I lost immediately the advantage and I was struggling even to keep uh, going. I thought even about stopping, but uh, I knew they couldn't do anything. Uh, just carry on, but the car was undrivable. Just suddenly, it was incredible. Just one corner suddenly bound the car, changed like. Uh, like everything was wrong and, uh, and it was that way from there on uh, I, I stopped right away from tires uh, to improve a little bit we changed tire pressures just to help I told them on, over the radio but the car was unfortunately was very bad